Hello friends. Today we're going to make a Bloody Mary. Now you're gonna look at the table and say, oh my goodness, there's a lot of stuff on this table. I could never make this. Trust me, I'm gonna walk you through this. You can make this. The Bloody Mary has been around for, gosh, about a hundred years. Um, it was either invented in New York or Paris. There's lots of different stories. It was invented either and named after either Queen Mary the First of England or this really hot barmaid or this woman who tried the drink and hated it so much she spit it up in front of her dress. I, I don't really know, nobody really knows, but it's one of those stories or maybe it's a totally different story. At any rate, the Bloody Mary is a staple. You all know it, you've probably all drunk it. Now you're gonna be able to make the best Bloody Mary. And I'm telling you right now, this is the best. I learned to make this Bloody Mary when I was a bartender at One Fifth Avenue. You may have been to One Fifth Avenue. It was a very fine restaurant in New York City. Um, I was actually the first female who was hired to work behind the long bar at One Fifth Avenue. This is more or less their recipe with a couple of little tweaks from me. Trust me when I tell you it is the best Bloody Mary. Now, we're going to start by pouring our vodka. Normally, you know we do a slow three count because typically you're going to be drinking this drink um, perhaps because you're hungover from drinking a lot of other drinks, you're gonna drink this drink the morning after, I tend to go a little easy on the vodka. So instead of doing a slow three count, I'm gonna do like a two count. One, two. That's about all that we put in. If you want more, by all means, put in more. We then take our tomato juice. And we're gonna do about a four to a five count of that because we want a lot of tomato juice in this. That's gonna help settle our tummies after everything we drank last night. One, two, three, four. Okay, now I am going to add my premix of wet ingredients. The wet ingredients are Tabasco sauce, white horseradish, Worcestershire sauce, ketchup, and lemon juice. I'm gonna dump that in. Mm -mm -mm. All right, and then I'm gonna dump in my premix of the dry ingredients. The dry ingredients our celery salt, cayenne pepper, and black pepper. That all goes in to the cocktail shaker with the ice. We put our lid on and we gently shake. We gently shake because we're a little bit screwed up from all the alcohol we had last night, so we can't really shake this hard, right? This is a morning after drink. So we just shake it gently. Shake it, shake it, shake it, shake it. Now there's a lot of stuff in here, right? But it's gonna taste wonderful. All right, we take our cocktail strainer or our slotted spoon. We are going to gently pour it into a tall glass with ice. <gasps> Look at that, it looks so calming already. We love the color. Mm. Now, as to garnishes, you know this uh, right now, the fashion for garnishes is to put all sorts of stuff on your, uh, your Bloody Mary. So people put on, you know, bacon and little mini hamburgers and, you know, huge stalks of like corn and things. I'm a simple person. I was taught to put a lime wedge on, but I personally like lemon and we have lemon juice in the drink. So I use a lemon wedge. Squeeze a little bit in, rest it on the side. And now you have a wonderful morning after drink, the Bloody Mary. Vodka, tomato juice, a lot of spices to sort of work all the, all the alcohol from last night out of your system to kind of sweat it out a little bit. And the taste is great. Mmm, so good. Drink up.